The most important aspect to this piece of artwork is the feeling of stillness. Taking the calm, peaceful, and even grim looks of the girls' faces, the chicken, the house, and the scenery all play a role in that. Though there are many butterflies in the scene, and one may even consider this chaotic, the way the artist portrays their color and placement within the scene still gives them a sense of stillness rather than being out of control. If I was to be in this scene, I can only imagine hearing the sound of the blowing wind as well as the butterflies flapping and maybe the flapping of the dresses and the window curtain in the background. These noises would also indicate the same feeling of stillness and peace. Now the simple attitude of the time period, location, expression of the girls and their activities speak into the roots of this painting. The first thing you notice when observing this piece is the two girls and what they're doing. Catching butterflies without really even trying, you can't help but notice the look on each one of their faces as unamused. The house in the background almost looks abandoned and you can't see beyond the horizon line of the field and the prairie. Now the color tone is impeccable. There's a blend of yellows, greens, browns, blues, and oranges as well. Uh, though there are a wide array of colors mentioned here, the tone of each was created to match each other so well. Since most of the painting is a yellowish, to yellowish tone, the blue dress was created with a blue, a, a dull blue, so that it blends in with the rest of the painting. Other elements that stick out are the detailed strokes and design of the grass and the field. Even far off in the distance of this painting, you still notice some singular strands of grass just because the artist was that detailed when painting. You'll also notice some similar details like this in the texture of the roof in each butterfly and in the different color tones and details in the clouds located in the sky. One of the reasons for that is because the painting was created with acrylic paint. One of the most significant aspects of acrylics is how malleable they are. Since the consistency and texture of acrylic paint is so easily controlled, it allows for these small details in the painting to be created. It's these small details that help make this painting incredible. The actions here in the artwork are related back to stillness considering the fact that the two girls are catching butterflies when it seems they're not even trying. While these girls seem to not carry an agenda, neither do the butterflies or the chicken. This scene is contained, uh, yet a free-range painting, and that I mean the figures look like they are free to do what they want, but everything they're doing is done in a conservative manner. Now, the story and meaning behind this work was described by the painter Andrea Couch, where she said, in a way, it's a homage to a past where things were so much pure, simpler, but like butterflies who are in a constant state of transformation and migration, such as life, where things come and go, and it's up to us to choose what's worth keeping and preserving. While the mood of stillness was pointed out earlier, the simple and pure observation of this painting tells a story that we choose what we want to hold on to in life and what we choose to let go because our life is constantly changing. The figures in this story almost seem to be holding on to this moment as they give off a vibe of contentedness. They're holding on to this moment in their lives because it will change soon. The details play a role in this as they capture the scene in every aspect because it's not to be forgotten and the color tones help emulate that mood and feeling of stillness in relation to things that are pure and simple.